Hi, my name's Craig and welcome to my channel. Um, I'm currently on a bit of a mission to lose some weight and gain some speed in the old running for a half marathon that I've got booked in February. If you want to see how I get on with that and how disastrous it's gone so far, give us a like and a subscribe. There's a few more videos on here for you to uh, have a watch of first. Um, and I'll hand you over to earlier on me that already recorded this and then remember to do this later on. I've done it. Garmin Greg is no more. He went that way and I went that way. End of. So now we're working with stride. Uh, my workouts this week have been um, pretty much all on the treadmill. I've done little videos about each one of those so I'll, I'll, I'll hand you over to earlier in the week me in the moment uh, with the exception of <coughs> excuse me Wednesdays, which was an easy uh, run, just shy of three miles, and I did that at um, a wattage power of 215. Uh, I think my aim was between 210 and 225, or there or thereabouts. Uh, anyway, so here's me earlier in the week. See you in a sec. Hello. <laughs> So I'm on the treadmill today, the wind's gusting outside, and we're always going to do this one on the treadmill anyway. It's the first workout I'm doing from my stride half marathon plan, so not as much time with it as I'd have liked. Uh, obviously I've got a bit, <laughs> a bit more weight on from Christmas, less said about that the better. Yeah, burning some extra calories. <laughs> <laughs> but that doesn't mean I'm shoving more in my face. I am going to try and also calm the amount that, that enters me <laughs> down. Um, anyway, better crack on with this. So today I've got... So today's workout is the Supra Threshold Interval. I think that's what it's called. don't know, it goes off the screen. Anyway, so I've got an 8 minute warm up at between 210 and 240 watts of power. Then we've got two times one minute at 291 to 309 watts of power, which is between 97 and 103, 103% of my critical power, followed by a two minute cool down. Um, a further minute, which then takes us on to the actual workout, which is four times five minutes at uh, between 294 and 312. Uh, watts of power which is 98 to 104 percent of my critical power um, each one of those followed by a two minutes and 45 second cool down so that can be a steady walk jog or stop um, and then four minute cool down at the end so let's get this done i'm really not looking forward to it but i think these ones are easier to do when you do them outside it's easier to control on the treadmill but because I haven't really done much on treadmill recently, everything feels like a lot more effort than it should. Um, I'm hoping that that will change because <laughs> it's winter and it's, I don't know what storm this one's called, but I can hear things smashing outside, so I'm presuming it's been given a name. Um, minutes coming up. I'm not looking forward to this.
What a fart I do. I don't know. Oh. I won't record the rest of it. I'll see you at the end. Oh, dear me. It's a wetter version of my former self. Just doing a bit of a cool down now. Walk recovery. Just say eight minutes or something. Jog. And then I'm done. Off to Leeds tonight to see a show I should be so lucky. Is the name of the show. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this insight. See you on the next one. Oh, I'm dead excited. I thought, oh, it seems like it could be all right today because of what the weatherman said. I don't know if you can see me wobbling because the van's shaking with this wind. Um, but I thought, I'll do a run outside and, and, you know, I'll do a bit of daylight running for you. Apparently, the sun wasn't even going to rise today. If you can call that daylight. Feels like I'm on my own version of, what was that film called? 30 Days a Night. It's like chuffing 30 days a night out there. Although they had better weather, at least the snow kept it illuminated. It's just relentlessly pissing it down here. Anyway, I got here. I was going to go for my five mile run. The van pulled up and then we nearly moved a car park <laughs> sideways with the wind. And I just thought, no, no, not when I've got that treadmill at home. Poor thing just sat there gathering dust. And just like that, we're here on the treadmill. Raring to go. <laughs> Semi-raring to go. So, what have I got today? Uh, 12 minutes warm-up. One minute at... Oh, I don't know what the percentages are here. Let's see my phone. So it's calling it half marathon power. But I think half marathon power is what it is now. Not what I'm planning for it. But what Garmin should have been doing, to be fair. So... Um, 12 minutes warm up, 210 to 240, which is 70 to 80% of my critical power. And then two times one minute on, two minutes recovery at 97 to 103%. My critical power, which is 291 to 309. My critical power is 300. Um, then a cool down, and then we've got two sets of 12 minutes at 93 uh, to 98% critical power. Uh, two sets of 12 minutes with three minutes recovery and then five minutes cool down. So that should be a nice easy one for me, he says. I think I'd have preferred to have been doing this one outside just because I think running those longer bits will be a bit easier outside than here on the treadmill. But it's winter, it is what it is, we'll just crack on. See you at the end. So that was the treadmill stuff. And then on Saturday, I went over to Lister Park Park Run in Bradford and did that one. That was another easy run. That was supposed to be done up to 225 watts. But unfortunately, both my stride and my watch had decided they were going to have a little bit of a fallout that morning and they wouldn't communicate with each other when we were on the um, course. So I just had to do that to feel and I did it a little bit too high at 245 which I'm not too fussed about it was still a steady run I felt comfortable and and so I'm happy with that Sundays was a long run obviously church of the Sunday long run and <clears throat> I attended it went well it was just shy of 10 miles it worked out at I kind of messed it up on Strava because I'd set the wrong workout going but it was like a 10 minute warm up and then by the first part of it, the first long part of it, we're all pretty much straight, steady, away. And then at the latter part of it, I had six times one minute at 5k effort um, with two minute cool down sections on them. I didn't really hit the power there. <clears throat> the idea was to get you used to moving your exhausted legs <laughs> a bit harder. And I felt like I, I it definitely did that. I was definitely moving my exhausted legs harder. So I was happy with how that panned out. Uh, here's a little reel of Sunday's run. Eh? 
It was only yesterday I were talking about setting up a GoFundMe and <laughs> sort the ransom out for whoever's got hold of the sun at the minute. But anyway, turns out it's free. So it's Sunday morning, it's New Year's Eve, it's long run day. Uh, I've got 10 miles to do, which I'm chuffed to bits it's, it's bright out for. It's not overly warm, but I'll take that. <laughs> Considering I really didn't want to do it on treadmill today. Uh, I think we've got like a four hour window, so I should be good. Um, but yeah, like Ella was staying in bed this morning. So let's crack on with that. One done. Just one more to go. Oh, it's a different loop. It's still a loop. Thank God. Back on the canal too. And back onto the canal. One minute efforts now. Uh, just did one, but we're in a cobbled section <laughs> and the other went flying. Um, and then I can cool down, get back home for a brew. God, I need a brew. Second effort coming up. See if I can out camera straight. Definitely on tired legs. <laughs> Nearly done. Just the recovery back to the van now. Paris runs go. That was perfectly timed. It's just ending. And I'm back at the van. Had. It's actually behind the car. <laughs> but I'm here. <sighs> Exciting times. And thankfully, the only thing swimming today were fish. Happy days. Oh, you're back with me. Right, yeah, so that's my week done. Uh, we're now on Monday. I've done 
today's run already. I'm going to try and do a little bit more outside this week, but well, we'll see. Hopefully, I'm hoping we don't have gale force winds and <laughs> a lot of rain again. My roof could do without it because I seem to have sprung a bit of a leak. Um, but yeah, so this week should be good. I am alongside of this doing another video, but I won't be uploading to YouTube until 30 days have passed because it's a 30 day challenge and it's the 12, 3, 30 challenge, is it 12? Yeah, 12, 3, 30 challenge by uh, Lauren Giraldo, Giraldo. I don't know, I'm not right good with names. I'm not right good with faces neither. I'm not right good at all. <laughs> I'm certainly not right good at this. But anyway, uh, I'm going to be doing that alongside this because I just figured that that would be a nice thing to do because um, it'd be kind of steady walking uphill for 30 minutes. I, I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll, I'll manage that, uh, but it'll hopefully help with endurance. Um, it should keep me in <laughs> the, the fat burning zone if I actually have one of those. Um, and so hopefully within 30 days we'll see a difference because I hit 14 stone today and that was not a happy moment in my life. Not very pleased with myself at all, but I am going to let myself, I'm going to cut myself some slack. It has just been Christmas um, and I did need to get rid of certain stuff that were in the house. I just didn't need to do it all within five minutes, but there you go. <laughs> Anyway, that's my week. Thank you for joining me through that. If you've made it this far, thank you very much. Why not click that subscribe button if you've not done it already and you can join me next week to find out what I've been up to again. Um, and at the very least, drop us a quick like just to let us know that you've watched it and you didn't mind it. Uh, that's me. See you soon.